and a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Welcome friends, I'm Meryl Mania and in today's episode I will be teaching you how to play Knocking on Heaven's Door, originally by Bob, but then soon covered by the legendary Guns N' Roses. Either version will sound correct with the music because they both use the same chords, so whichever one you're into, this will work. But we're going to actually learn two versions. The first version is going to be like the easiest version around. Probably easier than any version on YouTube. But if you're uh, a bit more experienced and just want to get to it, you can learn the proper version, which is later on, which is uh, just fast forward to this time. At the moment, I'm just pointed to thin air, but I know I'm going to put a time here soon for you to see. <laughs> anyway, so also just one more thing before we get going. The Guns N' Roses version, if you play along to the music, it's actually going to sound out of tune, even though I'm teaching you the correct chord shapes. But this is because they tune their instruments to a different type of tuning called E flat or half a step down. And if you're not sure what that is and you want to do it, just click on the link below because I've made a video about this. So let's do it. So first up, Let's learn the super duper easy version of the verse first. Now, this begins with a G chord and the easy version of a G chord is to use your third finger. That's the one next door to the pinky and place the third finger on the third fret on the string closest to the ground. So this is the E string and we are going to strum the G chord from the G string. So basically from this orange string down. And we're going to strum it two times and each strum is worth two beats. I'll just show you. It's easier if you just hear it. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I'll do that again. One, two, three, four. So it's quite slow. Now the next chord is a D chord. And the easiest way to get from the G to the D is to hardly move this finger. It's actually only going to move to the next string, which is the green B string. Same fret. And then our first finger can go to the orange G string on fret two. Now this D chord can be strummed from the D string. So that's from my blue string down. Again, we're going to strum this in the exact same rhythm. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so, so far we have this, G, one, two, three, four, D, so just move this finger to the next string, the first finger on fret two on the G string, here I go, one, two, three, four. Okay, now the next chord to learn is called A minor, and to do an A minor, we need to take our first finger, so that's the one next door to our thumb, their neighbours, and this is going to go on fret one on the green B string. Okay, so that's there. Now we're going to take the second finger and place this on fret two on the blue D string. Boop. <laughs> and then we're going to take our third finger and place this on fret two also on the orange G string. And this A minor chord, we could strum from the A string. So I'm going to strum from my yellow string down. And I'm going to strum this four times instead of two times. So it's the same thing as earlier, but just double of it. Like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So from the beginning, we have this so far. G. One, two, three. D, one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first refrain of the verse. 
On to the second refrain of the verse. It starts the same, but it just ends different. So we're going to do G again, just like earlier, fret free. One, two, three, four. Then D again, just like earlier. One, two, three, four. And then this time, this is where it changes. It's going to a C. And the easy version of a C would be just use your first finger, the one next door to your thumb. So first finger on the first fret on the green B string. And for this, we only want to strum the three strings closest to the ground. So I'm going to strum from my orange string down. And I'm going to do four strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to play the whole verse so far from the beginning. So here I go, G. One, two, three, four. D. One, two, three, four. A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to G. One, two, three, four. D. One, two, three, four. C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, onto the chorus, still the super easy version though, and it's like the second refrain of the verse. It's just that over and over, G, D, C. So, like earlier, we have G again on fret three. Two, three, four. D again. One, two, three, four. C again. One, two, three, four. That's all the choruses over and over. I'll just play this a few times now, but without talking over the top. Okay, so that covers the verse and the chorus, the much easier version. Now, on to the harder version, which is the more proper way of playing this. So, the chords are titled the same, it's just another way of playing them. Now, the first chord being G would be played this way now. So, we would take our first finger next to the thumb and place this on the yellow A string, fret 2. So, just here. Okay, on to the second finger. Now, this needs to go on to fret three on the E string that's nearest to your face. There, on the red string there. And then we need to use, well, whichever finger is comfortable out the two, it doesn't really matter, on the other E string nearest to the ground, which is purple, on fret three. So fret two, fret three, fret three, and everything in the middle there is an open. So we could strum every single string on this chord and let's just do two strums like earlier. Okay, so the counting for this would be one, two, three, four. Okay, let's go to the D chord. Now to go from this G chord to the D chord, I would do this, these two fingers need to go to fret two. So this one's going to move first onto the G string, which is orange. And then this one's going to go to fret two to the E string, which is purple. And then this finger hardly needs to move. It's only going to go to the green B string, same fret, fret three. So we have fret two, fret three, fret two again. And this D chord we can strum from the D string, which is my blue string down. Here I go, same rhythm as before. One, two, three, four. So, so far we have this G. One, two, three, four. Then D. One, two, three, four. Then we go to A minor. And A minor is going to be played the same way as the easy version, but, um, you might have fast forwarded this and not seen it. So I'm just gonna go through A minor again. So we're going to take the first finger and he's going to, uh, 
<laughs> I called my finger a he. <laughs> He's called Bertie. Okay, so Bertie is going to go to fret one on, on the green B string. There you go, Bertie. And then my second finger is going to go to the blue string on fret two. My blue string is the D string, by the way. And then my third finger is going to go to the orange G string on fret two. So it's like these two are holding down the middle two strings, whilst uh, Bertie over there is just doing his thing <laughs> on fret one. Okay, I'm going to strum the A minor chord from the yellow A string, but four strums. <laughs> All three chords now together. G. One, two, three, four. Then D. One, two, three, four. Then A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now onto the second refrain of the verse. And it starts the same actually. We're going to have G again. One, two, D again. One, two, three, four. But wait, it's going to a C chord this time, not an A minor. So it's kind of similar actually, because this is A minor and then that's C. So it's only one finger different. But I'll talk you through this slowly. Um, so your first finger needs to go to fret one on the green B string. Your second finger will go to fret two on the blue D string. And your third finger will go to fret three on the yellow A string. And we're going to strum this from the yellow A string down and do four strums like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's all the verses, just over and over. Later in this video though, I'm just going to show you how to arpeggiate these chords, which is when we do a cool little picky pattern with them. But for now, I'm just going to play the whole verse just to summarize that. So, beginning with a G. One, two, three, four. D. One, two, three, four. A minor. One, two, three, four. Back to G again. One, two, three, four. D again. One, two, three, four. And then C this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could count in tune, but <laughs> I can't even talk in tune, so <laughs> I apologize in advance. <laughs> now, on to the chorus. And then I will teach you the picky pattern after that. So for the chorus, basically, it's just the second refrain of the verse over and over. G, D and C. Like this. So G again. One, two, three, four. D again. One, two, three, four. Then C again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And that's all the chorus is over and over. But if you're into Guns N' Roses and into your power chords, then I'd recommend doing a power chord version of this for the chorus with some fat distortion. For now though, my guitar hasn't got really any distortion on it, but you'll get the idea. So you need to go to G here. Fret free on the E string nearest to your face. And then you need to place your third finger that's the one next door to the pinky on the yellow A string on fret five. So this is a standard power chord shape. And in this position, it's a G power chord because this finger is on a G. So that's what gives it its name. Now, we just are going to do the same rhythm again, uh, but we only want to strum the two strings we're holding with a power chord. That's very important. And if you want to find out further information about power chords, just click on the link below where I've made a power chord lesson. So that goes more into detail on power chords. Anyway, back to it. Two strums. Okay, now onto the D power chord. Same shape, but basically we're going to move up two frets. One, two. So now this finger is on five and this finger is on seven. And then we're just going to shift 
a string down towards the ground with each finger like this. So we should be on the A string and the D string, yellow and blue. Okay, so two strums. Now onto the C power chord. And again, same shape, but we're going to move back two frets. One, two. So now we're on fret three, fret five. Still the same strings here, yellow and blue. And four strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all together, it sounds like this. G power chord. One, two, three, four. D power chord. One, two, three, four. C power chord. One, two, three, four. Back in the day, me and my band played with Gilby Clark from Guns N' Roses for a few shows. So that was good fun. And he asked me, oh, uh, do you want to come up on stage and jam Sweet Child of Mine? But uh, I wasn't expecting to do it. And by that point, I packed away all my gear and it was all a bit last minute. And I hadn't rehearsed it anyway because I didn't know it was going to happen. So I didn't actually get to do it. But the singer in my band still went up and he, he sang with Gilby. So that was pretty cool. Okay, now back to the verse and in case you want to, instead of just strumming the chords, you might want to pick the chords. And this is called arpeggiating. It's like the posh way of saying, let's pick some chords. <laughs> so back to the verse, back to the G chord. What we could do here is it kind of doesn't matter which strings you pluck or what order you pluck because they're all going to be in the key of the chord in the first place. So you kind of can't hit a wrong note here. As long as we pluck the strings within the same time bracket, which was four beats like this, for example. You could do a strum linsum plucking. But as long as it's within that kind of time frame as earlier, then you'll be fine. You kind of can't hit a one note here. Now, onto the D chord. Okay, now what's important about this is we can only now pluck certain strings because in the D chord, instead of strumming all the strings like we do with G, in D we don't. We only strum from the blue D string down. So we can only pluck strings from the blue D string down. Over the same timing of if you were to strum it. So that's over like a four beat bar, but we're just going to pick instead. So here's an example. Like this. The basic rule is as long as you're plucking the strings that you would usually strum in the chord in the first place, you can't really go too wrong. So just don't pluck any strings that you wouldn't normally strum for that chord. And then, then you're in the safe zone. Next, on to A minor, which we learned earlier. And in an A minor chord, we'd normally strum from the A string down, so the yellow string down. So we can pluck any of these strings in any order we like. So this is the only one we don't want to pluck the E string nearest to your face. So we don't want to hit this. Any others are fine. And again, like we're going to pluck this over the same time frame as what we were strumming it before. So earlier we were strumming it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here's a plucky version. Something like that. And then G repeats again, D again, but this time it goes to C, so just like A minor actually, we can only pluck the same strings, so from the yellow string down. So here I go. Now I'll play the whole verse, the arpeggiated version, here I go. <laughs> Maybe go to some fat power chords for a nice contrast. Anyway, that's the idea. So 
when it comes to the verse, you can either just strum it like you first learnt from me, or you can arpeggiate the chords, or a bit of a mix of both. I guess it depends on if you're singing with it or not, because if you're singing, it might be really hard to pick and arpeggiate the chords. It might just be easier to strum them. So, but e either way, it will work fine with the music if you wanted to play along to like a backing track of it, whether it's Guns N' Roses' version or Bob's version. Bob or Guns. Either way is good. So don't forget that below there's a few useful links other than how to read tab. There's a video on how to do E flat tuning and how to play power chords. So thank you so much for everyone for watching. Thank you for subscribing or if you're about to subscribe and here are my social media handles. Again, I'm just pointed to thin air. So remember practice makes progress. Keep it fun and I'll see you guys on the flippity flop.